You're watching TTT Boxing in association with IFL TV and KO Clothing. I'm joined fresh off of his victory by Isaka Issa. Thanks for joining us, Issa. Issa. Thank you very much. Massive, massive fight in there with Benny Warburton. He's a very, very experienced fighter. He just brought the fight to the table and um, just more busy, wanted it more tonight. What, uh, what are your thoughts on, on how the fight went? Uh, yeah, with Ben, Ben, uh, yeah, he's, he's ranking Australia number 14 in the ranking in the lightweight division. Yeah. And you know, I'm, I'm only new in boxing for one year. But you know, I listened to my coaches uh, at the corner and we have clip game plan for Ben Warburton because uh, he box around and he's not a, a good powerful puncher. So I stick to the game plan and I deliver my promise. Excellent, yeah, it looked like um, say a lot of power in there. Maybe it's not something that he was quite used to um, at this weight. Are you, uh, are you expecting to, to keep yourself busy and fight more and more this year? Yeah, I'm looking up to, uh, to, to, to get the state title or any WBO, IBO title because I'm ready to fight. Like I said in the beginning, the last yeah. time I fought with Hatan Lamut, I promise you within one year to come with the back of my coaches and their teachings, I'll be a world champion. Excellent. If the necessary things is provided to me. And I'm not, I don't scare to fight anybody, whether in featherweight or lightweight. Excellent. And today you mentioned your last fight there with Hatham, which was say another cracking fight. He's out next on this card. Uh, is that a fight that you'd like to, to have a rematch? I know last time we spoke, uh, yeah, you said that. Like, uh, I said uh, the earlier time, uh, I wanted rematch, but I'm not here from them. But I always stick to my coaches. I listen to them who to fight. So I have to be disciplined. And in boxing, you, you don't need to do every, everything by yourself. You need to back by the team. And when they say, oh, you're fighting this. You don't realize this is a featherweight fight in junior wars. Let's be honest, the bloke from the, the South Coast is the lightweight, big one, is yeah. a featherweight. So he'll fight anyone, but the reality is, when, when you want to call them out, call featherweights. Not yeah. lightweights or light wobbles, you're not doing him that favours. He understands he's going, he understands his opponent, but then he fights everybody that comes along. Scotty, Scotty and the team from uh, the two blues have done a marvellous job of him, but a featherweight has to fight junior wobbles because the Australian junior wobbles don't want to fight him, got no heart, got no yeah. ticker. You know, I'm going to talk about the likes of Foley, you know, he pulls him out the lightweight, but what about Kyle McKenzie? Kyle Foley, get it on. A soccer, he'll, he'll take the Australian and state featherweight title. No one will fight. Excellent. Is there, is there anyone else out there that you'd like to see him fight next? Well, to be honest, any featherweight in the country here will fight. If you want to be fair, give him a fair go. Yeah. He's a featherweight, fight lightweights. Yeah. So you can be able to walk. He's a featherweight, he's a, he's a lightweight. Yeah. Give the kid a break. Any featherweight in the country, you listen. A soccer will take you on. Give uh, uh, Scotty Simmons a call or two blues and he'll take you on. Perfect. At featherweight. But all you bullies, the ones are toughies, you'll fight your junior lightweight anyway. But that's because you're going to have ticker. Excellent. We've got to fight junior lightweight. Can't be dead with you. And I don't think anybody's going to do that dead. <laughs> so, well, I wish you all the best. Thanks for your time, Mr. Catch you soon.